Here we're going to talk about what spreadsheets are. What exactly is a spreadsheet? Why do we care? What might we use one for? So this is kind of the introduction to the rest of the material for this course. A spreadsheet really is a computer application. It's an application that runs on your computer. You can use it to organize and present and calculate information. Uh, and you can use a spreadsheet to take a lot of different data that you have, different values, numbers, uh, words. You can kind of put all of this together in a spreadsheet and you can use your spreadsheet to organize it. You can use your spreadsheet to make sense of it. You can use your spreadsheet to filter and sort it and to kind of understand the, the data or the information that you're working with. Uh, spreadsheets do this, they're, they're kind of organized into a table and this table is made of rows, it's made of columns and each individual column and row intersect where you might have a cell. Uh, we also sometimes hear these called records, columns and fields. Uh, for some reason columns just seem to always be called columns but you might hear rows, records. There are a few other words that are used for these but typically we're going to talk about rows and columns and cells when we deal with our spreadsheets. So for most of this course, we're going to be talking about Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet application, and it works right in your browser. The great thing about Google Sheets is that you don't have to install anything. If you have your Chrome browser up, you can open up Google Sheets. You just go to sheets.google.com. You can create a new spreadsheet. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, anything that you modify in your spreadsheet is automatically saved to the cloud. It's also Google Drive is another way to look at it. But all this really means is that there's some computer somewhere out there across the internet that is taking all of this information and storing it so the next time you try to open your spreadsheet you'll see it there. Uh, it's a lot better than having a spreadsheet crash while you're working on your local machine or when you're working on your laptop and uh, something goes bad and then you lose all of your data, you lose all of your work, it's very frustrating. Uh, since everything's automatically backed up uh, to your Google Drive somewhere, that doesn't really happen with Google Sheets. Uh, the other great thing about Google Sheets is that you can share your spreadsheets with other people so that if you want them to see or modify something or just comment or you know review it, that's all pretty easy within Google Sheets as well. Now, Google Sheets is organized. You can see here this is kind of the basic screen for Google Sheets. When you create a new spreadsheet, you're going to come up against a screen like this, and you can see the rows. Now, the rows on the left, you'll notice they all have numbers. Rows typically have a number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and your columns, they have letters. Here we're pointing directly to the F, G, and I columns, but the we have column letters that are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, all the way down to Z, and then we start off with A, A, and A, B, and A, C, and we we keep going and going as long as we need more columns. Now the individual cells you'll notice here, we're pointing to a few of them. Uh, that left arrow is pointing out to cell B10. Uh, that's, that middle arrow is pointing out to cell D8. And that right arrow is pointing out to cell E9. And that's basically because we call our cells, we give them a name that is based on where the column intersects with the row. So each one of these cells has a name and we call it, you know, it's kind of like Battleship if you remember that game where you call out numbers and except we don't really have any ships and we're not sinking anything and we we also don't have hundreds of plastic pieces here. Uh, it's really just a spreadsheet that's available for us to start entering data. Now, you also have menus at the top and you can see we have uh, the data formatting. You can kind of change th the way that your data looks and you can change the visual formatting. So data formatting, it really we're thinking about things like uh, how many decimal points am I showing? Uh, is this a percentage? Is this currency? And you'll notice you have buttons there across. Uh, you have a currency button, you have a percentage button, and you have buttons that identify how many zeros I'm showing as well as other numerical formats if you click that one, two, three and select a few different things there. But the visual formatting, that's going to tell you uh, what kind of font you're using, what colors are displaying, what the backgrounds of your cells are. And when we get into some exercises, we'll see, you know, you can use those to change the way your spreadsheet looks. Then you also have text formatting it on the right side here. And you can you can notice these different areas. You know, you've got the ability to center your text to make it left aligned, right aligned. You can change the, whether it's top aligned, bottom aligned, or centrally aligned. You can change word wrapping. You can even change the direction of your text. So you've got a lot of different ways you can format your spreadsheet. Now you also have a few other items in this view. You've got a workbook name at the top you've got a sheet name at the bottom. And this is kind of an interesting uh, interesting sort of semantic concern or issue with spreadsheets. We tend to call them spreadsheets, but really when we have a collection of spreadsheets, we call it a workbook. So we almost always work with workbooks, 
even though we call them kind of collectively spreadsheets. So, and you can see here at the top, it even says untitled spreadsheet. Now in Microsoft Excel, I believe it calls it directly workbooks, but it kind of gets confusing when you have a spreadsheet and you have individual sheets. So sometimes it's easier to kind of think of your collection of spreadsheets as a workbook. Uh, down at the bottom, you'll see we have sheet one, which is our sheet name. Most of the spreadsheets you'll work with, you know, they're going to have one spreadsheet within them, or most of the workbooks you would work with will have one spreadsheet within them. So we, that's one of the reasons we kind of use these interchangeably. But you will notice as we move through the course, you'll see spreadsheets that have many different individual sheets. Uh, at the top right, you can share your spreadsheet. You can send it off to somebody. If you click that button, you would notice that you could share that with other users. You know, you could ask people for comments. You could get a link to your spreadsheet so that other people could view it. Spreadsheets can be used for a lot of things. Uh, they're used a lot in business. They're used a lot in organizing people's home lives. Uh, spreadsheets are a very, very useful tool. And that's because they can be used kind of like a big calculator. So if you don't want to keep track of a lot of numbers in your head, if you don't want to make a lot of, uh, if you don't want to kind of do mental mathematics, you can use a spreadsheet to keep track of all of your values, all of your numbers. You can use that to perform calculations. And since you can see everything, it actually Makes it, makes it a lot easier to understand exactly what it is you're calculating. Uh, you can use spreadsheets for your personal budget. You can use spreadsheets for making checklists. Uh, you know, if you need to check to make sure that several different things are being picked up, or you know, you've got to create a plan for for making sure that you know you're going on a trip and you have everything checklists are a pretty good way to use a spreadsheet you can use them to store information you can use them to create invoices or other documents that you might need uh, spreadsheets can be remarkably useful for a variety of things and as we move through this course you'll see once we get into coding you can actually do a lot more with spreadsheets beyond what you can do with the basics so entering data in spreadsheets is pretty straightforward. We've got a few uh, ways we can do that. You can just click on a cell and start typing. You can see in cell A1 here, we just clicked on a cell, we start typing, you hit enter, it's saved in the cell. Now there is an interesting thing about this. When you type longer than the cell, it tends to overlap. So you can see click a cell, start typing. It's moving into cell B1, even though all of that data, all of that is kind of stored in cell A1. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice is we have two different ways to say 1 million here. Uh, when I click on cell 2 and I type in 1 million and hit enter, it, it just kind of shows me 1 million, but there are no commas in it. Now, if I click on cell A3 and type 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and hit enter, you'll notice something interesting on the screen. One is that the cell itself is displaying its sort of data format. It's displaying with the commas, and we like the commas because it makes it easier to understand what data is in there. It makes it easier for our minds to, to grasp what the separation is. If you look at that, that number in cell A2, it takes you just a, a moment to realize that that's one followed by, uh, actually it might not even be six zeros. I'm having trouble picking it out now that I'm looking at it. It's, so it is a little confusing, uh, you know, when you get in these big groups of zeros. Uh, but one million with the one comma zero 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 comma zero 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 that makes it pretty obvious but in the formula bar you'll notice that the actual value is still the just plain one million that's going to become a little bit more important later when we get into some of our different calculations but for now we're going to start off just working with spreadsheets and just trying to understand how to enter some values how to format things and how to make them kind of work for us so thanks for watching this one, and uh, we'll come back. We'll, we'll do a little bit of testing and playing around with our spreadsheets.